Give me an eye patch. Call me Slick Rick. I'm done. <laughs> What's up, babes? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Christiana, and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be a full get ready with me. So if you want to see me do my hair, do my makeup, put on an outfit, put on some smelly goods, if you want to just hang out with me because it's been a minute, I know, I'm sorry. This work, influencer, freelance makeup artist, whatever, trying to have a social life is kicking my butt. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry it's been like two weeks since I got you guys a video, but I'm bringing you one now. So if you want to see me transform into this baddie right here, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with hair. I am going to be doing a pony today. I haven't rocked a pony in a little bit. So, um, and I got this new pony from um, INH Hair. I think it's called insert, yeah, insert name here. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I just grabbed the pony because I had seen so many damn Instagram ads for it. I'm that person that buys stuff from Instagram ads, y'all. Don't judge me. Um, and I, and it looked easy because, like, you know, I like the way it looks when you, like, take the track and wrap it all the way up the braid or whatever. And, it, you know, it looks good, but sometimes it's just too time consuming. And I ain't got time for all that. And so this ponytail looked really easy to install. So I was just like, this would be like something cool, like just for the day if I want to pop it on. It does look mad synthetic though, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's synthetic, but it looks really synthetic. So we'll see. But yeah, it's one of those ponytails where you just like clip on and wrap around. So we'll see. Honestly, like <laughs> it looks like a ponytail that I have been getting from Amazon. And I've been getting it from Amazon for $13. And this one is $50, so. It better perform better so yeah it just has like this little clip part here which you just clip onto the top of your ponytail and then you wrap this part around the base of the ponytail so i'm gonna let y'all just watch me install that i'm gonna speed this clip up i wet down my hair just so that it would be easier to work with um because if i let my hair be like like dry and puffy when it's curly it's just not gonna lay down the way i want it to and um, also, I'm going to be braiding my hair within the ponytail because if, once again, if I let my hair be out, it's just going to get big and it's not going to um, blend well within the ponytail. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up and let y'all watch me do this. I got my Eco Styler Gel here, got my edge control, my brushes and stuff. So yes, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so 10 years and two pounds of Eco Styler Gel later, our ponytail is on. And let me just say, this is not as easy as it looks. Because I had a hard time like wrapping the part and getting it to cover the Velcro. And I still really don't know if it's covered, but it's gonna have to do what it do because I'm not redoing this ponytail. Um, yeah, and not to mention, I bought this ponytail before I dyed my hair jet black. So now my hair is darker than the pony, but I don't think it's that noticeable. And if it is, mind your business. Nobody thinks this is my real pony, so come on now. 
All right, so let's hop into doing makeup. I'm gonna um, scoot a little closer so you guys can see me better. All right, so for makeup, I have been doing my brows completely different. Um, like, I'm trying to get like the bushy brow look, but I don't really have eyebrow hairs to really be like just pulling that off naturally. So I've been like trying to perfect, like giving me a more bushy natural brow. So I'm um, I'm still working on perfecting it, but I'm still gonna show y'all. So anyway, I got this brow styling soap um, off of Amazon. We came with two of these in the pack for like $11. So yeah, so I'm gonna take my spoolie. I'm gonna spray it down with some um, Fix Plus. This says to get it damp. And then I'm just gonna rub it all in this and get it nice and coated and then push my brow hairs up. I really think if I get my brows tinted, that'll help too. I might do an um, at, ho at, at home brow tinting. But that'd be fun. And then I'm just gonna take the other end of my spoolie and just like smooth it so that that product kind of like sticks the brows in place and then I'm gonna take the um, spoolie in and just shape them and this is kind of what I do on days where I'm not wearing makeup I'll just do this um, but yeah so then I'm gonna take my brow pencil this is the morphe micro brow pencil in the shade what's the shade chocolate mousse and I'm going to start drawing um, little hairs. Oh, this one's out. What the fuck are knuckles? Give me another one. I'm gonna start drawing little brow hairs at the um, like back two thirds of my brow. Okay, now that the brow, brow is drawn on, I know we look crazy, don't judge me. Concealer's gonna fix all that. But my goal is just to really like get my brows looking like a thicker brow hair. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other brow off camera. Okay, so now that both brows look bushy and we look slightly crazy, I'm just going to take a little, little, very, very little bit of my dip brow and go over the tail just to darken it up. Cause right now, like the inside of my brow, where they have the most natural hairs or it's darker than the outside part and i want this part to be darker so i'm gonna take my dip brow and a little angle brush and just go through that and create like more hair like strokes and darken that up bada bing bada boom all right so now i'm gonna go in and just clean it up with concealer all right and so then another thing i've been doing differently is i have not been putting concealer on the top of my brows so this is going to be my brows and i love it i know it's probably not everybody's cup of tea but like, I feel like this gives me like a little bit of more like natural hair like look. It still looks a little dark for my face because this is how I'm gonna, how I do them when I'm wearing a full face of makeup still. If I wasn't wearing any makeup, I definitely wouldn't have like gone on, gone in as hard with the dip brow. I probably wouldn't use dip brow at all. And I wouldn't have used as many strokes of the brow pencil, but I do want them to be just a little darker for a full face of makeup so they don't look light once I put everything else on. So yeah, let's move on to the eyes. All right, so I just primed my eyelid with some concealer and set it with some setting powder. Um, so I know if you see me blinking a lot or like looking around, <clears throat> there's like something on my contact. I need new contacts so bad. This is my last pair. And my eye doctor can't get me until Friday. Today is Monday. And I don't want to buy new contacts because if my prescription has changed, then it's going to be a bunch of contacts that are no longer my prescription for no reason. So... Just trying to like deal with it but it feels like there's something on my contact at all times and it's like blocking my view so anyway i'm gonna do like a really simple just brown like natural looking eyeshadow look um i'm gonna use this amrezi palette from anastasia beverly hills and i'm gonna go in with the shade og and i'm literally just gonna like messily put this all in my crease in like the outer corner Then I'm gonna go into this, um, the Chocolates palette by Juvia Place, and I'm going to use um, this shade right here. It's my favorite, like dark, like darker medium tone brown. 
um because it's so warm like it's the warmest brown of this like darkness that i've um, ever seen honestly so i use it like pretty much every look and i'm just gonna put that on the outer third of my eye like, literally this look is so easy i haven't really been into like eyeshadow looks lately i don't know like i'm just been into like skin and brows honestly it's been my thing really perfected my brows it should have been my thing and they're not perfect yet there's still some things i definitely want to work on um but yeah skin and brows have been my thing lately and lips i'm obsessed with making my lips look good oh actually i need to prep my lips with some um Too faced lip injection so my lips can look nice and luscious on this palette how put on my lip liner we weren't all blessed with, with beautiful voluptuous lips all right, then I'm just gonna take this shade Georgina out of that same Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills palette and I'm gonna pop that all over my lid. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that same dark brown from the Juvia's Place palette and just go back over my outer edge. And that is literally it. That is all I'm doing. Three colors, honey. Three colors and we got to go. That's all we got time for. Actually, it's like 10 a.m. I have plenty of time, but I need to film TikToks today. I need to take some pictures for Instagram. Like, I will be so happy, y'all, when I can create content full time. As much as I love, like, working at the clinic and as much as I love, like, the people I work with and as much as I love, like, taking clients and freelancing, it is getting really, really exhausting trying to keep up with creating content, like, still create the same amount of content that a full-time influencer creates and you know take clients and go to work full-time it is just starting to get really really exhausting and i feel like honestly my content is suffering because of it because i'm not able to upload as much as i would like to um like today i need to I'm filming this video and then I need to film four TikToks and then I need to go take two Instagram pictures and then I still need to edit this video and get it up tonight and I still need to go to the gym and I need to grocery shop and so it's just like a whole lot and not enough time. It's not enough hours in the day. All right, then I'm gonna take these lashes from, I got from Amazon and just pop those bad boys on. All right, while my lashes are drying down, I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna start with the um, Hangover RX primer from Too Faced. I've been double priming lately. The clear, I've been wanting my skin to be like really hydrated. Mind you, I have oily skin, but I notice that if I hydrate my skin nicely before I do my makeup, um, not only do I not overproduce oil, but my makeup goes on so much better and I feel like it lasts so much longer, so. Ooh, girl, forehead is foreheading today. And then I'm gonna um, also prime with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. All right, my lashes are still drying down, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on my foundation. I am using Estee Lauder Double Wear. I am in the shade um, Sandalwood 6W1. Look. I know Estee Lauder is oldie, but it's a goodie, honey. I always come back to it, especially in the summer months, because nothing holds up against the dang on heat and sweat. And I sweat like nobody's business. Like, and in any situation where you can sweat, I'ma sweat. And even in a situation where you can't sweat, I'ma sweat. So um, it's just always my. My go-to, my tried and true. Your forehead is on display. You ever like, like not like you're not used to seeing yourself without like a wig because you wear wigs so often, and then like your forehead be looking mad big when you don't got one on, or is that just me? Your forehead. I feel like my forehead is just out here in these streets, honey. But I ain't got no wig on. All right, my lashes are dry down. But pop them on. Lashes are on. I learned about these lashes on TikTok, and let me just say. Thank you to whoever put me on these. I'm gonna link them down below, but I love these. This eye is looking a little funky. I don't know what I did differently, but this eye is popping, honey. Whatever, roll with the punches. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I am going to be using three different concealers because I'm extra for no reason. Um, I like to go in with my e.l.f. 
16 hour camo concealer in the shade deep olive but that's like really yellow so then i balance it out with tan deep honey from shape tape but then that makes it really light so then i gotta balance that out with deep from shape tape okay don't judge me don't judge me okay look i know we look crazy but when it blends out honey it blends out and i look like a filter an instagram filter i swear to god and my sponges are dry let me go with my sponge all right, then I'm just gonna cream contour with this foundation stick. Ooh, honey, I'm all over the place. With this uh, black opal true color foundation stick in the shade Suede Mocha. Then I'm gonna set my um, under eye and everywhere I put concealer with the um, Laura Mercier Translucent Honey setting powder I swear once again Laura Mercier setting powder might be an oldie but it is a goodie it makes my face look airbrushed I ain't gonna lie y'all I really feel like I can barely see because of this whatever is on is directly in the center of my pupil it's everything on this eye this eyelash looks crazy this eye, this contact got something on it this eye is itchy like i'm, I'm about to throw this whole eye away baby because you're not you're not with the team you're not with the squad you're trying to ruin me i right. messing my whole face with this maybelline fit me powder um in the shade 355. all right then we're going to bronze with the uh fenty beauty sunstalker bronzer in the shade mocha mommy Add that warmth. I ain't gonna lie, I'm going kind of ham on the bronzer. I just been trying to make my face look like sun-kissed and like glowy, like I've been on somebody's tropical island. Like we haven't been in quarantine for a year. Ugh, over a year, y'all. Can y'all believe it's been over a year since we've been in quarantine? Like, we really thought this was gonna be over in three months. Like, we really thought, oh, just stay inside. Girl, we got curved. Whole year got curved. Then I'm going to put on some blush. I'm going to be using the Serafina blush from um, Juvia's Place. It's my favorite blush. It's just a perfect, like, pinky, corally color. Ugh. And I've been going ham on the blush, too. Ain't gonna lie. Blush has been my thing lately. I've been putting it on my nose and everything. It's just giving everything it's supposed to have gave. And I'm gonna highlight using my Eclipse highlighter from Elsie in the shade Soul. This is like the most universal highlighter I've ever seen. It just looks good on everybody's skin tone. Like the fairest people. My friend Morgan uses it and she's white. I use it and I'm dark skinned. Like it looks good on everybody. When I'm taking clients, I only pack this highlighter. Like if I'm doing like a wedding party, I only pack this highlighter because I know it's gonna look good on everybody. All right, I'm gonna set my, oh no, I'm not gonna set. I'm going to take that dark brown shade that I used in the outer corner from the Juvia's Place palette on a pencil brush, and I'm just gonna run that all under my lash line. And just coat my lower lashes with some mascara. But now, y'all, now I done got mascara on a dang on eyelash on this eye. I'm telling you, I'm throwing this eye away. I'm done with this eye today. Give me an eye patch, call me Slick Rick, I'm done. All right, now I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Continuing Mist Setting Spray. Uh, it's something about a pony that just gives you this snatched face. Mm. Sitting, sitting, sitting. All right, let's do lips real quick. Um, I've actually been doing a new lip combo. Um, I'm still using the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. I'm always gonna use that. I'm never gonna not use it. But I've been using a new lipstick to fill in my lips. So let me line my lips with MAC Chestnut. So now my lips are nice and lined. I am going to go in with Minted, Mint, Minted, Minted Cosmetics uh, Semi Matte Lipstick in the shade Peach Please. It is so pretty. And I'm just going to fill in my entire lip with that. And 
And then I'm going to take Morphe Matte Honey and just dab that in the center. Blend it out, blend it out. And then I'm going to blot off the excess. Come on. Come on, pony. Come on, face. Come on, lips. Yes, she's giving what she's supposed to have gave. I think, you know, I can't see out of one eye, so, you know, we're going to pretend like it looks good if it doesn't. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw on my outfit, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing today, and, um, jewelry, fragrance, all that. Alrighty, y'all, so here is a rundown of the look. Um, the top I'm wearing is from Pretty Little Thing. The pants are Fashion Nova. The bag I have is YSL. The shoes I got, I think, are from um, either Public Desire or Cine Shoes. I can't really remember. Um, the necklace that I have on is uh, from H&M, and so are my earrings. And then my bracelet is from JBW. This shirt wants to expose me, which is why I'm holding it. Um, so, yeah, my bracelet's from JBW. And um, and the smelly good that I'm wearing today is the Burberry Her. So, yep, this is the fit. Thing is thingin'. Cute, simple browns. Alrighty, y'all. So that is all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below and let me know if you'll be trying out this pony, if you'll be trying out this look. Let me know what your plans are for this summer. Are y'all gonna be traveling? Are y'all quarantining still? Give me all your tea. Just give me an update because I missed you guys so much. Comment down below. Let's engage. And don't forget to give me a like if you like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.